side as we look down that's the left back position that is covered by Joseph Cipollina who's got a big job they all have so it's going to be Celtic to get us underway here in this second qualifying round of the Champions League the rock of Gibraltar looms up to our right behind the Lincoln goal and Celtic will get us underway here Lee Griffiths lead scorer 40 goals last season for the hoops who are not wearing hoops tonight and Dembele big fella isn't he up front he's a really big target man yeah. brand new from Fulham absolutely a really promising player I've heard plenty about him and I mean there, there were other Premier League clubs actually who were, who, were, who were in for him it was it was actually a very good coup by, uh, by Celtic to get hold of him he, he really is one for the future so just about ready to get underway here tickets been going on the black market the Scots are in town although there are still some empty seats here uh, which is a little bit of a surprise Robin Absolutely. I was walking around Ocean Village today <laughs> and uh, people were saying have you got a ticket have you got a spare pass Paul why don't you take the night off I could do the commentary yeah half of them were in the water actually with the, with the <laughs> soaring heat they might have stayed there so underway in the Champions League and straight away there's a big challenge on Tempelli who went off and it was Lee Cassiano who made the challenge and the free kick is already taken inside the center circle and spread over to this right hand side where Yanko the right back is forward and Griffiths now over to the left hand side spread by Beaton the Israeli and Celtic passing the ball comfortably and making a first attack on the left hand side of the Lincoln penalty here it's chipped to the far post there's danger here and the header out in the end it's cleared and up to the halfway line and Celtic have it and attacking now on the left side bright sunshine over on that far side the uh, main stand has shade here and in the end the ball is out on this uh, near touchline already a, a minute in and, and a sign of things to come you'd, you, you, you'd believe I mean Celtic right on the front foot certainly looking like they want to grab the game by the scruff of the neck Brown it's back to Am Ambrose the big central defender up towards the halfway line Brown again and uh, you've got to say Lincoln are pretty well forward here early in the game although all the possession as we expected belonging to Celtic of Scotland who attack now on that left hand side there are players waiting plenty of red shirts back though here for Lincoln and in the end they try to get it away but uh, possession with Ryan Christie over on the left hand touch line and it's a goal kick yeah sure defending by JC there stood his ground well great to have you with us if you have just switched on to GBC Paul Breen Turner and Robin Shepard Kapuro your commentators here for this uh, historic occasion no goals third minute of play certainly feel that Lincoln will hope they can uh, get through the first 15 minutes or so Dembele again the danger man and Celtic have it right on the edge of the penalty area, and again Terrier like defending from Lincoln yeah. and uh, it's Brown with a block and he looks a real Terrier in midfield for Celtic he's the uh, real destroyer absolutely yeah we'll need well Lincoln will need 11 destroyers if they're gonna if they're gonna take anything from this match long throw down the left hand side the header out is from Ambrose all rather bunched and uh, Dembele had come back little ricochet and it's a first touch for uh, Craig Gordon Scottish goalkeeper and so far so good for the home side it's a 5-4-1 for Lincoln more or less yeah interesting they played a 4-5-1 actually with number six Lopez who's now in, in the central in the center of defense he played just in front of the defense against Flora Tallinn did a very good job actually but now understandably just right in the heart there beside Roger Bolina Celtic midway through the Lincoln half and uh, again pushing players into the penalty area and again good stout defending from 
Lincoln, who might have a chance here to attack, and a little bit of a misunderstanding, and Lee Cassiaro started to make the run and stopped, and then the pass over the top, and uh, it's easy pickings. For the side that won the European Cup in 1967, the first British side to do so, Celtic, when uh, the Lisbon Lions won the old European Cup, which is, of course, today the Champions League. Lots of football coming up for you in the future here on GBC. We're absolutely thrilled to be part of uh, this historic occasion. And there are some uh, biting challenges coming in here from the Gibraltar side. 14 consecutive times winners of uh, the league here in Gibraltar. Some achievement. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a record to boast, that's for sure. And uh, what's interesting in these sort of matches is that Lincoln, much like the Gibraltar national side, are, are, are not used to playing. Oh, it's a big shout. The crowd aren't happy with that at all. It was uh, Schipolino Joseph on this left-hand side. He claims he got the ball. And uh, it was the linesman who signalled for the free kick. And the referee, well, he's actually now watching the replay. He has gone in with two feet there. He's got the ball, wow. but it's more of a two-footed challenge. Yeah. And the, in hindsight, the referee's made the right decision. Yeah, these days, those aren't uh, quite as legal as they used to be. So, Ryan Christie to take this for Celtic. Dembele will be the target man, no doubt, in the centre. It's left for Brown, in low. And uh, well, in the end, it is cleared as Lee Griffiths wasn't too sure exactly what to do at that stage. Yanko with the throw. Still Yanko. And uh, oh, at the minute, Lincoln can't get the ball. But the clock is ticking into the sixth minute here. Neither goalkeeper with any work to do. And that should be, well, it's spun out. It's a Celtic throw. And we must welcome as well all the uh, Celtic supporters who have made the journey to be here in Gibraltar. And many of them weren't able to get tickets. It is rather strange because on the far side of the ground, as you can probably see, there are some spaces. So I'm not sure what has happened Yep, with, with those, their, those tickets that have been sold. Their infamous supports. I would have been, I'm very surprised actually that they've not filled each and every one of those seats. Could be the prawn sandwich brigade perhaps. <laughs> uh, maybe join us at half time. <laughs> so, Celtic have it. If you're a Lincoln fan, so far, so good. Massive, massive underdogs here. This was the biggest okay. draw that uh, Lincoln could have got. Nothing bigger than this. Of course, they reached this stage of the tournament uh, last season. And tumbled out. But uh, so far this season, they beat Flora of Estonia 3 2. Calderon and uh, Cipollina got the all important goals 3 2 on aggregate. Brendan Rogers actually said he was really surprised that Lincoln beat Flora. And he said, you know, they deserve our full respect to be here at this stage of the competition and we will show them that respect and so far absolutely after seven minutes it's been that way yeah and i fully agree with him it was uh he was surprised but he didn't watch the game i wasn't surprised at all that they beat the the estonian champions uh mm. they had a lot more about them than flora talent did and, and fully deserved the win this is yanko on this near side but uh, lincoln have again Cleared it up and then they give it away rather cheaply. They're struggling really to put together more than two passes at this stage of the game. And really, they do need to try and hold on to some possession. Otherwise, it's going to be a very long evening. Particularly for Lee Casiero up front on his own. I think it's going to be one of those games. It's Rogic with a cross. And that's a dangerous ball dropping on the edge of the six-yard box. And uh, Navas Raul takes that comfortably. Experienced 38 years old. Played his football in ten or even Cordoba as well, so this won't be too intimidating for him. No, and, and his experience has shown. He's been he's been with the with the club a couple of years, and you know the few times he is required, he's been there. Uh, and like I said, his experience has been absolutely key, just in marshalling the defence and keeping them in the, in position. He's been brilliant. Cherny rather made a, a mess of things over on the far side, and uh, that's going to be a throw in to Lincoln, that's right level with the edge of the, uh, the penalty area. And, uh, oh, and that's, well, that's disappointing. Got to be better than that. 
So, no goals after nine minutes here in the Victoria Stadium in Gibraltar. It really is. We sometimes hear in sport about uh, a David and Goliath clash. But this truly is a David and Goliath clash. And here, Garman is a nasty yes. foul off the ball. And that may well be a yellow card. What's the referee doing here? It was a clumsy challenge. He could have actually played an advantage. The card is coming out. And it's a yellow card for Ambrose. Very untidy. I just wonder if the referee could have played an advantage then and come back and brought out the card afterwards. Let's have a look on the replay. Well, that's a shocking challenge. There it is. Yeah. Referee spot on. But out of your picture, there looked to be a breakaway there. The referee stopped the game and we go back for the free kick. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I fully agree. I think the yellow card could have waited. Uh, Kyle was, well, he wasn't through, but there was plenty of space to work with. So, free kick to Linko. And that's uh, a decent ball in. The danger's still not gone yet. Carlos just chips it to the edge of the penalty area. And what's happened here? Uh, flag is up on the far side for an infringement, and the free kick goes to the Scottish champions. Big welcome if uh, you have just joined us on GBC. Champions League football. And there's going to be plenty more of this coming your way as well. Floodlights are on. <laughs> I don't know if that, that makes any difference at this stage of the game. but Not, uh, not quite pitch back. <laughs> And here comes Celtic again, but uh, Lincoln will steal it. Although Celtic have won it back again, and uh, Yanko wanting it here on this right-hand side. Although, again, that's good defended by Lincoln. And a chance to come forward now, and that's a poor ball. It needed to be a bit better from Cipollina. Over the top for uh, Lee Cassiaro. And here come Celtic, the target man, always, is Dembele. Are they gaining a little bit of confidence here, the home side? They've given the ball away, though. Yeah, very nervous in possession. Understandably so as well, when it's so rare to get yourself on the ball. It's shot from distance, and that's, uh, in the end, very ambitious from Ryan Christie. And wide of the target, goal kick. Chance well, to take a deep breath. Yeah, it's very hot indeed. It's been a blistering day, uh, hottest day of the year was forecast with temperatures touching at 38 the noise you can hear by the way is uh, an aeroplane landing we're just a hundred meters or so away from uh, gibraltar runway here it's quite bizarre it's one of the few runways i've seen where there's a uh, pedestrian crossing people actually wait for the the green light before they can walk over to either reach spain or gibraltar throw in to Lincoln, named in honour of uh, Lincoln City, who I noticed on Twitter today, Robin, had sent all their best wishes to Lincoln tonight. Here's danger, though. And good tackle. Good tackle on the edge of the penalty area. Read it brilliantly. The two central defenders, Ryan Cassiaro and Roy Cipollina, so far have stood firm here. Absolutely, yeah, and, and, and Lee up front as well. If there's one thing he knows how to do, it's give the central defenders a hard time, and FA Ambrose doesn't look like the most assured, so that's perhaps a weakness we could exploit. Roy Cipollina was saying yesterday that he used a, uh, a Celtic video of the fans singing You'll Never Walk Alone against Flora, and he said it inspired the team. They played it in the dressing room before they went out, and it inspired them to that victory. Is that going to be a free kick here to Celtic? It is. Uh, we were told that there were up to uh, 5,000 Scots arriving in Spain and Gibraltar. A lot of them without tickets, just wanted to soak up the atmosphere. And I have to say, Gibraltar has been a magnificent sea of green and white of Celtic and the red of uh, Lincoln today. And uh, all of the players, all of the supporters have uh, enjoyed quite a few beers together. And uh, the atmosphere has been that of a carnival, really. Yeah, I mean, the Celtic fans are loud, vociferous, but, but usually peaceful as well, which is, which is good to see here on the rock. Again, 
Lincoln just trying to get forward. There's an infringement over there, though. Celtic with a free kick. The linesman very keen to show the referee that, although play on. And it's a dangerous ball. Well, and again, as uh, well defended by Roy Cipollina, the captain, leading by example. Got to say, Dembele's probably the biggest fella on the pitch. Yeah, he is a unit, isn't he? Big, strong fella. He could quite easily be a heavyweight boxer with that frame. And there's a long ball over the top here. And just for a second, Lee Cassiaro looked like he might sneak in behind the Celtic defence. He's certainly sticking in his position and his role covering a lot of ground and uh, giving the Scottish uh, defenders something to think about. Just trying to have a little bit of a breather here in the heat. It's difficult on the screen to really appreciate how hot it is here. And there are water bottles on the side of the pitch. I'm just wondering if we will actually get the referee calling for a water break. We've seen it before. At the request of Celtic, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Brendan Rogers out of his uh, dugout down below us in his first official appearance for. Celtic I was actually asked a very good question in the press center yesterday what's the difference between being Liverpool manager and being Celtic manager and he said different cities <laughs> yeah. different cities two massive clubs didn't want to get drawn into what was the better league he just said there's no difference and here come his team again coming forward although again it's dogged defending Patino trying to uh, force that out there for Lincoln and the ricochet favors Celtic who have got players and what's happened here foul taken uh, free kick taken far too quickly and the referee will uh, want us to go all the way back over to that far side no goals 15 minutes that was the magical figure that some people did ask Lincoln to stand up for defend your ground for the first 15 minutes let's see what happens so they've yeah. done that so far but a dangerous free kick here Dembele hovering around the penalty spot looks like uh, might be Brown with the in-swinger here well, Brown leaves it and uh, across in the end is comfortably headed away it wasn't the best ball from Christie but Celtic, Celtic still with players uh, coming forward goodness me are they covering ground here Lincoln really really working hard Again, a little bit of space here on this uh, right-hand side. Again, Lincoln managed to uh, regain possession. Just need to find that composure again. String a few passes together. That's been the trouble so far. It's easy to criticise from the commentary box, but they've not really been able to hold on to the ball. Oh. They've won it here, though. And uh, can Lee Cassiaro get away? Well, the pass was misplaced. He might have been better positioned there to just even have an ambitious and spectacular crack at goal. Yeah, he's that sort of striker. One touch, two touch, and bang. Brandon Rogers said he's been to Gibraltar once. Uh, he stayed in Soda Grandi just down the coast, and he said, I, I have been here. I did some duty-free shopping. So I'm not sure if he's been on uh, Main Street here or around uh, The Rock. Slightly more responsibility this time around. And the crowd start to make a little bit more noise here in the Victoria Stadium. Champions League football against a former European Cup winner. Oh, appeals for handball there against Brown. Not given by the referee. The ball bobbled up. Did it strike him on the hand? Lincoln wanted the free kick. The referee waves play on. Yeah, it looked hopeful to me, I think. There's a slight breeze in uh, Celtic's favour out there. Not very much, though. And uh, Lincoln have it. Can they just... They're doing the right thing, not really rushing. I notice they're a ball boy immediately rolled a ball. They really don't want to be in any sort of uh, rush at all here. Just let it eat uh, the minutes up if they can.
settling down a little bit now, a little bit more shape, and if anything, Lincoln may have just sucked back a touch. Dembele with a the flick there. It was uh, cleared by John Carlos. And again, beat on the Israeli. Forward for Celtic. And quick feet from Lee Griffiths. It's all bobbling a little bit untidily. And uh, in the end, Lincoln do get it up to the halfway line. And that's very well played, well played yeah. by Lee Cassiaro. He's the man who looks like he's got the experience to cause a little bit of trouble up front. Exactly. He's, he's always, whether it's for Gibraltar, whether it's for Lincoln, he's always the one that's never phased by the occasion. Got plays that, his game. Got that historic goal at Hamden, of course, when Gibraltar famously equalised against the Scots in their own backyard. Can Lincoln pull off a, a bit of a shock here? And even get their noses in front and a crowd applauding here. I think it would go absolutely crazy here if Lincoln were able to take the lead. They're doing well so far, 20 minutes gone. And holding the champions of Scotland, 0-0. Lots of travelling uh, Scottish media. All asking, is it normally this hot this time of the year? <laughs> Actually, I had um, one Scottish reporter. He said, "Do the apes ever come anywhere near the stadium? You ever seen an ape anywhere near here?" Yeah, Robin. Yeah. Fun funnily enough, they, they do come hunting human food, and uh, yeah, yeah, you do you do see them in the area. Not on the pitch playing no. football, not yet anyway. No. Well, the Gibraltarians, I suppose they could be <laughs> fighting for a place in the side. No goals, nil nil. As you would expect, Celtic with the uh, major share of the possession. And a break here now with uh, Yanko on this right-hand side. It's a good block, though, from uh, Cipollino. He's done everything right so far. And that was a strong clearance from Calderon, just to let everybody know he was in town. Yanko looks like he's just taken a little bit of a breather here. No rush at all. Beat on. And uh, this is Brown. Really got plenty of men behind the ball here, and they're making it quite difficult, Lincoln, for uh, Celtic. Okay. That's a good charge down. The little ricochet doesn't fe doesn't uh, favour Patino, and it is Celtic again. Good possession. That's an untidy ball. Wow. I don't think in this heat Brown would have been too happy with that misplaced pass. <coughs> you can see the pitch has been watered. A little bit of spray occasionally, just uh, popping up. Patino. Here is a little break for uh, Lincoln. No free kick given. And this is Griffiths away on the right-hand side for Celtic. That's a dangerous ball into the far post and uh, straight out. First time we've seen Griffiths with a, a real chance to run at the defence. He got 40 goals last season. Just Nobody going back to that. To that earlier challenge, that was F.A. Ambrose inches away from a second yellow card. Yeah. Halfway through the first half. Now, he'll need to be careful. Ambrose, number four, on a yellow. One more of those, and uh, Celtic could be down to ten. That would be interesting. And there is uh, Ambrose on the halfway line. Griffiths. That's a decent turn, a dangerous ball here to this uh, right-hand side for Yanko, who's going to win the corner. This is where you feel Celtic could really flex their muscles. They've got some big, big men in the side. And uh, Lincoln bringing back everything they've got to defend. 
This is going to be an in-swinger onto uh, the Lincoln goal. Oh, that's poor. That's over here. Well, you've got to say, at this level, and there are cheers from the crowd here, because let's not forget, these guys, some of them are only 25 grand a week playing in the Scottish Premier League, and if you can't take a corner properly, you're going to get jeered when you're playing away to Lincoln in Gibraltar, no question. It's a slightly miss. The referee actually uh, looked at Lee Cassiaro, who was appealing for a push. Slightly misplaced pass. A really useful player to have up front. If he wasn't there, the pressure would be relentless. Yeah, he's kind of Carlos Tevez, like, he really is dogged, always in your face. Here comes Celtic again on this left-hand side this time. And uh, this time, Liam Walker will clear. <laughs> Liam Walker's the one, really, that if, if we are going to have a, an outlet looking forwards our creative spark it really does need to be him and he's got a lot of work to do down that right hand side defensively so it'll be interesting to see how much he produces going forward uh, Celtic have got some players warming up down below us it's 25 minutes now I spoke to some of the uh, Lincoln supporters there's a wonderful bar here in the stadium I know they're all watching us on GBC and they Derek, who's the owner, and he said, you know what, 15 minutes at a time, Paul, and if we can do that and hold them, then it won't be so bad. Or oh, there's danger here. And the cross came in from Griffiths. It was just a little bit too far away from Tembele. So if they are dividing the game into 15-minute sections, they're very nearly um, completing the second of those 15 minutes on 30 minutes, holding Celtic. Yeah, plenty to take. I think the manager will be delighted so far with the defensive efforts. Yeah, the goalkeeper really has uh, not had very much to do. 26 minutes played. Goal is on GBC. And here come Lincoln again. A chance to attack here. There's a little bit of space on this left-hand touchline and Cipollina comes forward. The cross is far too close to the goalkeeper. And... Uh, Craig Gordon with easy pickings there. The good news for the crowd here is the floodgates haven't opened. If Celtic had got an early goal, perhaps a 2 or 3 nil score line early on, and it really would have killed the game off. But yeah. it's, it's, there's still a little bit of hope. Yeah, it does, it does no good for, for morale, for the, psychology, for the psychological factors. Um, really, really hard to take an early goal. You know, you, you, hear, you hear them talking about the, the goal before half-time is the hardest one to take. This is Brown. Rodgers. And Yanko now on this uh, right-hand flank. No room, though, and that's a fair tackle. Again, it's difficult, really, for... Cassiaro on his own in attack. But they just can't afford to put anybody else up there with him. It's... Uh, big defensive job here today for the home team Rodic over to the left here's Brown a lot has gone through Brown now already in this uh, opening half Rodic might fancy a shot from here and he's surely over hit that that will be a goal kick and uh, Lincoln will take that all night long Absolutely, yeah. Celtic have been careless in attack, actually. Been, the build-up's been good. But when it's got up to, up to Dembele, Griffiths, Christie, they've just been lacked a little bit of guile, maybe. Brendan Rodgers uh, looking on here from the touchline. Incredibly relaxed, incredibly positive yesterday. And the weather, I have to say, has not been for uh, long trousers. Everybody wearing shorts in the sunshine here okay, not committing too much forward here Lincoln this is Brown it's the first long ball he's offside there well spotted by the linesman and I wonder if uh, Celtic although 
You need to be careful here, Lincoln. I wonder if Celtic are just starting to get a little bit frustrated. They've not found a way through. That's the first long ball we've seen from them. Here's Brown. Rogic. Beaton. Beaton has lost it, and here's a chance now for Lincoln to counter-attack. Cassiaro completely alone, although Liam Walker's joining to try and bring a little bit of support. And this is dragging Celtic back into their own half. Then Belly's the only man on the halfway line. Well played. Well, still holding on to possession over on the far side are Lincoln. They are forced backwards. That wasn't the best ball in the world, but it's cleaned up by Roy Cipollino, the captain. Best bit of possession we've had. Cipollino on this left-hand side, and the crowd are loving this. Off and there's Off a chance up. here. There could be a shot coming in. Aye. And Craig Gordon makes the first save of the match. And the Victoria Stadium explodes because that was a terrific bit of play from the home team. Yeah. Encouraging stuff. That's 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 what the what the home fans are used to seeing actually. A bit of a bit of confidence, a little bit of cheekiness in their play, and that'll do wonders. Wonders for the for the team around. Give them the belief that they can go forward and cause the defense trouble. Just Chierney over on the left hand side. So a little warning there for the Scots. <laughs> Brown's caught there. Uh, referee. <laughs> Brown doesn't want to have anything to do whatsoever. Not accepting Calderon's apology. He just says, on your bike, mate. <laughs> Let's watch those two. And here he is again, Brown. And again, it's Calderon coming in. There's going to be a little bit of afters, maybe. And it's just starting to get a little bit nasty. And Brown has been outfoxed. And here come Lincoln again charging forward. Well, if you can rattle a side like Celtic and you're a team of part-timers, You've got to be lifted. So Brown really, for me, made a mistake there because he refused the handshake and uh, it kind of motivated uh, Lincoln and their fans. And now that is a free kick. Got to be careful there. Dangerous place. It was uh, untidy from Carlos over on the far side. And a chance here now for Celtic. Certainly lifted the crowd that, that last phase of play. Yep, here we go again. The shot came in and it uh, bobbled just in front of the goalkeeper as well. <laughs> Liam Walker struck it well. But uh, Craig Gordon, Scottish international. And now some defending to do here for Lincoln. <laughs> we have reached 31 minutes now. And not conceded, but danger here. And in the end, the goal is given. Lincoln thought no, that no, no, it's no. been disallowed. It's been disallowed. Has it been disallowed? Uh, there was some uncertainty. Dembele it was who jumped. Surely it's a foul. And uh, in fact, the goal was disallowed. Some confusion there for a while. But the goal was disallowed for a foul on the goalkeeper. And Navas Raul is holding his uh, left arm and wanted some treatment. He hammered the ball out of play. It looked for a second as if the referee had actually awarded the goal, but it was a clear foul on the goalkeeper by Dembele. It says a lot about Dembele's physicality. That was Navas outstretched, arms outstretched. Dembele still beat into it. Brown getting booed every touch after refusing the handshake with Cowder on uh, a few minutes ago. Yeah, he'll be used to that, won't he? Here he is again. Well, there you go. Welcome to Gibraltar. Ambrose on a yellow card. And uh, did push his luck a little bit with another risky challenge. And now, oh, well, referee pulls play back for a foul. Well, was there any contact? Here we go again. Well, I don't think there was on the screen. You can see the ball was taken cleanly. 
So a little bit of spice into the game now. Lincoln will certainly be lifted by this. Yeah, they've grown into this first half. Well, again, the crowd just uh, playing their part and a little bit of intimidation for Brown. Beat on. Now over to that uh, left-hand side. Christie. Now Dembele had that goal disallowed and here is Brown. Griffiths. And is that over hit? It is. And that's out for a goal kick. And the crowd again absolutely loving this. We still don't know what will happen over 90 minutes and fatigue will surely kick in the fitness level between these sides should be significantly different over 90 minutes but so far Lincoln have uh, done Gibraltar proud and they've even had a couple of goal scoring opportunities as well so no complaints I wouldn't have thought from the uh, Gibraltar based Lincoln fans Christie. Beat on again. And there's some stout defending here from Lincoln. They're letting uh, Celtic have the possession, but not too far forward. Griffiths again, and there's danger here. Griffiths had made the uh, run off the ball, but it is cleared. And again, headed towards Dembele. A brand new signing from Fulham. And oh, there's danger here again. Well it had to be cleared. And uh, very nearly put a foot in there. That could have been danger. So, throw in here to Celtic. As uh, we approach 10 minutes until half time. Have a popular Brown. I don't think they'll be buying him a drink in the pubs later Griffiths Yanka he's gonna go in on the outside here but he hasn't had much luck so far and Cipollino has done a good job and that's up to uh, Cassiaro I don't think he'll ever forget that goal at Hamden Robin Shepherd, Capuro, you remember that goal, don't you? Yeah, like it was yesterday. What an occasion. Most, most famous goal in Gibraltar's history, the one at, at Hamden Park? Absolutely. And could have gone to a better person as well. He's been there for years. It really, really, really was deserved. That's strong from Dembele. Held up uh, the challenge there. And a shot coming in. And it did take a slight deflection as uh, it was struck. Ryan Christie again fencing a, a left foot blast. So eight minutes until half time. So far, so good for Lincoln. Live on GBC. Great to have you with us if you have joined us late. I think it's fair to say if you're just switching on your TV at home in Gibraltar or different networks around the world around the world taking our broadcast, you'd be a little bit surprised if you saw the two zeros. It would be a bit of a shock, wouldn't it? Yeah, and you know, Celtic, me as a Man United fan, I'm very used to seeing a team with plenty of possession but no real threat, and that's exactly what Celtic have lacked. They've lacked any real threat in the in in, in the third, in the final third even. And we are starting to see. A few long balls from Celtic. We saw another one from Brown, and that's given Lincoln the chance to go forward. And that was just slightly over hit by Lee Cassiaro, who I don't think there's any way he's going to last 90 <laughs> minutes out there. He looks exhausted. And there is a danger when you're playing such a big game that you run your socks off, literally, and you haven't got anything left in the tank. Yeah. I don't want to say it. You know him better than me. But he's starting to look like the heat has taken effect. It's mighty warm out there. Yeah. I mean, credit where credit's due. He's... He's had two major knee operations too, so, you know, 30 plus now. 
I'd be very surprised if he did complete the 90, but you, you know what? It, he'll give 110% for, for every minute that he does play. Here comes Celtic again, but they've lost possession. And this time, just the wrong side of uh, Lee Cassiaro. Forward by Yanko. This is Griffiths. And, uh, well, you don't need me to tell you that's Brown every time you hear the boos. Yanko. Nearly everything has come down this right flank for Celtic. And it might open up here. Oh, and that again is a shocking ball in. And uh, Brendan Rodgers below us just shakes his head and steps back into his dugout. That really, really does sum up every every sort of phase of play they've had. It's been good build-up, quick one, two-touch play, and then when it when it matters most, they're just lacking that you know that cutting edge. And then Rogers does uh, spend quite a bit of time just along the uh, Spanish coastline from here. He's been seen in uh, Marbella. And well, was that a mistake there at the back? And in the end. Craig Gordon, the goalkeeper, had to come sprinting out, and they have cleared their lines, uh, Celtic. Just another look at the clock as we hit 40 minutes here at the Victoria Stadium. Dembele. Oh, it's a brilliant shot, and that's a really smart save from Navas Raul. And that's where the class came in, the half-million signing from Fulham. Snapshot, left boot. And a good save by the goalkeeper. Yeah, it wasn't the, wasn't the best of, of balls into him, actually. He made it look good. Great first touch. And uh, shot with his weaker foot. Very, very nearly crept in. Keeper did everything and more you could ask for that. So, this will be an outswinger now, away from the Lincoln goal. Ambrose with a header back in. Oh, a little bit untidy. Christie. And, well, it's rather hopeful from uh, Lincoln. I think they will be thinking now, let's just try and get this to half time. And I'll tell you one thing, if they do manage to keep it at nil-nil for another four minutes, there's going to be a massive explosion of noise here in the Victoria Stadium. Although here's Dan Belly, and that's a shot, but never really got the direction on it. Yeah, he just looks slightly off balance. I think awkward height as well. Celebrating his uh, 20th birthday in Gibraltar today. I'm sure he'd love to celebrate with a win. The Celtic team arrived in uh, Malaga yesterday. Staying in a well-known hotel in Gibraltar. Again, they're just starting to look a little bit ragged here, Celtic. They started strongly, but uh, it's all got a little bit messy, and now here's a chance, perhaps. Appeals uh, for handball. The linesman has signaled for handball, and that might even be a yellow card. The referee has uh, just given a free kick. It was Carl Cassiaro who was through. Just used the hand to control it. I've seen yellow cards given for those before. Yeah, I think it's just a little bit clumsy. Nothing intentional. Good chance, though. Ambrose. Yanko. This is Brown. I wonder if Celtic are just happy to perhaps take this one in and regroup at half time, but who would have thought it? The part timers here in Gibraltar holding former European champion Celtic. Just wondering, as the game progresses, who uh, it would uh, benefit. Yanko hasn't had much joy on this side, although that's uh, better. Over hit the cross, but he's really not been able to take much advantage on this right-hand flank. Joseph Cipollino has uh, done a pretty good job Defending that area of the pitch. Right. 
Temperatures are just starting to drop a little bit now. I think the players will be pleased to be able to come out in the second half with a, a lot more shade. Very slight breeze this evening, and it will favour the swirling around the rock here this evening. And I was going to say it would favour Lincoln in the second half, but it actually looks like it has changed and is uh, going the other way now. Again, Patina with the clearance. Look at the clock, and we're into the final 45 seconds, and I think the stadium will rise to its feet if this is nil now at half time. Regardless of what happens in the second half, Lincoln have done a magnificent job in the opening 45 minutes here, although again a little bit of space for Christie to run into. And that's a, a sensible header back in the end by Joseph Cipollina. Navas Raul just again taking his time. And we're very nearly at uh, half time here. I don't think there's anybody in the stadium who honestly believe that Lincoln would hold the Scottish champions for the first half, but it looks like they're going to do it. And there it is, the half-time whistle goes. And I can tell you now, everybody in the stadium up on their feet applauding little Lincoln here. <coughs> That's been a magnificent opening 45 minutes. They couldn't have asked for more. And I wonder if Lincoln are actually going to stay out on the pitch. There's water being taken out. Are they going to go to the dressing room or are they just going to stay out? Yeah, I've, I've not seen them, seen them do this before, actually. But uh, I wonder if it's to build on, on what's been a, a very good first half in front of this brilliant crowd. Um, from a defensive point of view, they can't have asked for much more, really. They've been dogged. And that's something that the new coach has not been around long, uh, Julio Rivas but he's brought a real kind of like South American grit uh, into this team. They, they, they know how to play pretty football. They do, they do it week in, week out domestically. But, uh, you know, in order to succeed uh, in, in the European qualifiers, they need to, they need to have that, that fighting spirit, and that's what he's instilled in them. So we're going to take uh, a very short break here on GBC. It's uh, been a marvellous opening 45 minutes for the underdog, and there's a possession, 76% for Celtic. One shot on goal for the home side, two for Celtic. And a yellow card for Ambrose. But more warm applause now as Lincoln make their way into the dugout and prepare for a team talk and to regroup now for the second half. Great to have you with us here in the Victoria Stadium. It's Paul Green Turner. And Robin Shepherd Kapuro alongside me. We are going to speak to the Gibraltar national team coach in just a few moments' time as well. We're going to take a very short break first, though, and uh, we will be right back with you on GBC's Champions League special. It's the second round qualifying stage, and at this moment, Gibraltar's Little Lincoln are holding the Scottish champions nil-nil here at the break it really has been a battling performance by the home side we'll take a very short break and we'll be back after this half time it's lincoln nil celtic nil
just watched 45 minutes where Celtic have not managed to break through the Gibraltar side have stood firm and we'll be kicking from left to right as we look down from the main stand here this evening quite remarkable that uh, they've got the half time without conceding it's given the home fans something to really get their teeth into Mick uh, McElwee the assistant coach is a lifelong Celtic fan and he said it's just amazing for me having spent such a long time in Gibraltar to uh, be here tonight so second half underway the Sun dipping and it is Lincoln on the attack on this uh, left hand side players in the center as well and that will be out for a throw in in fact it's gone to Celtic no changes so uh, Lincoln line up with John Carlos Garcia Roy Cipollina Ryan Cassiaro Joseph Cipollino, that's the back four. Lopez, Patino and Calderon all packed into the midfield. Kyle Cassiaro on the left, Liam Walker on the right, and Lee Cassiaro is the sole front man. Celtic really looking for uh, the new signing, Dembele, who has shown a few touches in the first half that he can be a, a danger man for them this season. He's heading the attack. Craig Gordon in goal. Tierney. Jochenko, Ambrose, who got a yellow card in the first half, and Yanko make up the back four. As Celtic force a throw-in on this near side. Beaton and Brown are the two midfielders, Rodjick and the three front men, Ryan Christie on the left, Dembele, who we've mentioned in the centre, and Lee Griffiths, 40 goals last season for Celtic, on the right wing. This is Brown, who uh, involved in a rather unsporting incident with Calderon. And that's a shot coming in from Griffiths. A snapshot with a left boot. And it was a comfortable height for the goalkeeper. Yeah, got to be careful. I think um, I think they'll be fully aware of Lee Griffiths' uh, left foot, uh, and that was too much space allowed to him, and very nearly made them pay. And again, here come the visitors. Well, some really strong challenges. Oh, and Brown just put the elbow in a little bit there, as the ball is chipped forward, and that's a little. It's a bit wow. of a difficult wow. a chance here for wow. Lee Griffiths. Oh, oh my God! God. Back of the net. and the Victoria Stadium goes absolutely crazy would you believe it and it's Lee Cassiaro who slots the ball past Craig Gordon and the part-timers from Gibraltar are leading the Scottish champions calamity defending what a moment and whatever happens for the rest of the match that goal will go down as something special in the history of club football in Gibraltar here it is and it was a poor mistake by Ambrose I wonder if he was thinking I'm on a yellow card already he's got the wrong side of the striker and it's a brilliant turn in the end by Lee Cassiaro but look at Ambrose he's lost his man and it's slotted home magnificently well absolute pandemonium here in the stadium it's Lincoln one Celtic nil that is uh, I am I am in complete disbelief right now and uh, we mentioned earlier Ambrose having a slightly clumsy side about him uh, and he's you know he's got it in his face as we would have hoped for and what a finish as well just just to bubble it over the keeper 1-0 Lincoln versus well, Celtic well that will crazy. be flashing on web pages around the world right now if you're lucky to have the pitches welcome to GBC here in Gibraltar and people will be looking on uh, text flashes and it will be showing at the minute that Lincoln are leading 1-0 against the Scottish champions and former European Cup winners in 1967 and just quite incredible and now we start looking at the clock well there's only five minutes of the second half gone and um, I have to say Jeff Wood the Gibraltar coach is looking at me and uh, just uh, signing told you so what a moment 
Well, they've got to try and just to keep control of things here, Lincoln, and that's going to be a free kick. Well, well played by Patino. Just invited the challenge there, felt the contact, and uh, Ryan Christie was penalised. Free kick to Gibraltar. Free kick to Lincoln, I should say, but feels like the whole of Gibraltar is here supporting them. And here they come again, Lincoln, and there's a chance here! Oh, it's just over! Well, it's a brilliant strike. And it's just gone past the upright. How it was unlucky. a really, really crisp strike. How unlucky Hit it that? well, did Calderon, with a left boot. And I thought that was actually going into the top left-hand corner. That is inches, inches, inches from the top corner. It's a good strike. The keeper's beaten. Yeah, it was calculated. Wow. Are we in for a giant killing here tonight? And I could see people on their balconies of some of the buildings outside of the stadium, but they could see in, and they would have seen that piece of history as Lee Cassiaro scored against Celtic. There's still a look of disbelief here around the ground. 1-0 to Lincoln against Celtic. And the Celtic fans in the sunshine over on the far side can hardly believe it. They were all laughing and singing and dancing over there, but it's right opposite our commentary position. And you can probably see the, uh, the green flags that have been, and they're not being waved around quite so much now. Oh, and that's a nice turn again on this right-hand flank. And Celtic are being rattled here. That was Liam Walker. And I'm just looking at Brendan Rodgers, who's out of his dugout with his notepad. It, he was supremely confident yesterday. And here come oh, Lincoln lucky. again. And again, that was Liam Walker with a strike. Never really got much power in it. And uh, the goalkeeper always favourite to take that. It just seemed to have found another gear in the second half. Brown struggling to... Uh, See you in the sunshine. It's been mighty warm here today. And I think Celtic are preparing to make a substitution here. Well, the home fans still stunned by their side's goal. Whatever happens, they'll certainly take that with them. Whatever happens between now and full time. This is Brown. <laughs> well, Lee Cassiano just spoken to by the referee here. Uh, I'm glad he hasn't brought out a yellow card. And uh, some of the fans have actually managed to sneak into our commentary. One, one fellow who I saw down below somehow got past the... He must have a press pass. And he just uh, tapped us on the shoulder and said, what do you think about this, boys? Well, there's absolutely no doubt that uh, potentially this could be the greatest result in the history of football in Gibraltar. No, I don't think there's any doubt about that. In Gibraltar, absolutely no doubt about that. This, this really would be ridiculous. The part-timers. What sort of uh, broadcasting around the world tonight on GBC, what sort of jobs do some of these players have, Robin? In the Lincoln I mean, side. you know, all sorts to, from, from firemen, uh, very sort of, you know, humble, everyday jobs, and then suddenly they're, they're, they're tasked with the, the 1967 European Cup winners. Go on, don't make a fool of yourselves. And here they find themselves 1 0 up with not all that long to go. Well, there's still 37 minutes, so. Let's not get too carried away. Celtic fans will be absolutely stunned so far. This, this is Ambrose. Oh, and we might see a card here. That's clumsy. Oh, and Ambrose has raised his hands there. Well, that's risky. He's on a yellow card already. A yellow card is... All, uh, Ambrose is on a yellow card. Um, oh, it was Yanko. It was Yanko. I thought it was Ambrose over on the far side. It was Yanko. So, what's the uh, referee going to do here? I think he is going to book Calderon. Calderon's been quite feisty in the game. He's had his... Uh, yeah, it was it was Yanko over on the far side, but Calderon's been having his little battle, of course, off the ball with uh, with Brown. And no, that's a poor challenge. 
That's a poor challenge. There it is again. It's definitely a yellow card. And then I'm not sure what Yanko was doing there. The, uh, the card has come out. It's Carl Cassiaro got the yellow card. Yeah, it was the tackle from Kyle and then the follow-up from, from Calderon. But who got the yellow card? It certainly looked to me like Calderon should get booked, but I don't think he did. It looked like it was only Carl uh, Cassiaro who got it. From a Lincoln perspective, they'll be absolutely delighted, not just with the goal, of course, but to have got under, under the skin of Celtic. That would have been the, the manager's message. Frustrate them. Double, them. double substitution coming up for... for Celtic. Armstrong and uh, Forrest are about to come on. Back from Tierney. This is Brown. And again, that's just long passing, long football from Celtic, really. You, you wouldn't expect that from the uh, warming favorite and if that goes out that will be a Lincoln ball on the far side a little bit of backspin keeps it in and uh, Yanko has it but he's lost possession there and uh, Lincoln again with a chance perhaps to set something up and that's speculative oh. and uh, rather ambitious comfortably held by Craig Gordon done well to test the keeper Ambrose this is Yanko. Still waiting for this uh, double substitution. Armstrong and Forrest waiting to. Brown. Tierney. That's a decent ball as well for Ryan Christie. But he just. Shot. I think that ball did uh, cross the line perhaps, and that will be a throw, and we will get the substitution now. So, Ryan Christie comes off on the left hand flank and is replaced by Forrest. And it's uh, the other substitution is Rogic. And Armstrong will uh, take up that midfield role left vacant. Just in front of the midfield. And it looks like uh, Celtic now are uh, going to throw everything and the kitchen sink at Lincoln. And I just wonder if uh, the Lincoln bench, Robin, will be looking now and thinking about some fresh legs. It's been yeah. a lot of hard work put in over there in the last hour. Yeah, absolutely. We've got George Cabrera up front. He's a, he's a dangerous striker as well. He's usually the replacement for, for Lee Casiaro. This is Armstrong, the substitute. Now down that right-hand side, there's danger. Here's a chance here for Celtic. And is it the equal? It's hit the crossbar. Wow. And away. And that's a brilliant save by Navas Raul. Wow. Point blank tips it onto the crossbar. Celtic thought they'd equalised. This is absolutely unbelievable we're, what we are witnessing in front of us. He can't believe it himself, the keeper. <laughs> it's a corner to Celtic. I think we can uh, just about have time to see this. Here's the shot coming in. Came oh, off the defender. That is... It may well have come off uh, Garcia. Here's the corner. And Celtic piling on the pressure here. Goal oh, and that's a goal kick. A double kiss. And uh, that's out for a goal kick. And there will be no hurry whatsoever. One nil Lincoln. Well, immensely confident. Brendan Rodgers yesterday almost to the point I don't like to use the word arrogant but I thought he was incredibly confident when it came to facing the media in Gibraltar yesterday and now his side is trailing by a goal to nil and there's a foul off the ball here and it's a free kick to Lincoln dangerous position as well Carl Cassiari runs over. Ambrose again, the culprit. And this is where they really do need... There's the block from Ambrose off the ball. Just stood his ground, bang. Wow. 
Pretty cynical, and, that. Well, it was on Lee Cassiaro. So the free kick is to Lincoln. This will be left-footed, so it's going to be swinging away from the goalkeeper from Kyle Cassiaro. Needs to be a good delivery here. In it comes, it's deep to the far post. Cassiaro might win the corner here. Is that going to drift out? It is. And that's a corner kick to Lincoln. And we played an hour on the rock in the Victoria Stadium. On this night of history, biggest game in club football in Gibraltar. And the little guy in front at the moment and with a corner. Difficult to see from our comment. I think that's Liam uh, Liam Walker who sprinted over to uh, to take this left footed. This is going to be an in-swinger onto the Celtic goal. Near post, flicked on, and there could be a shot coming in. <laughs> well, that's nearly hit the top of the rock of Gibraltar behind the goal. <laughs> Rather speared up into the sky. It was the right decision. He had a <laughs> 11 Celtic players. Nothing really. I think he saw the headlines, did Calderon. And... Uh, and in the end, high up into the night sky. It's been a beautiful, hot, roasting day here in Gibraltar. But we are some 29 minutes away from potentially what many say would be the biggest shock in European football. Jeff Wood mentioned at halftime the fact that they were only just starting pre-season, really. And, and it's been evident. They've, they've, been, they've been scrappy, they've been, they've been rusty, actually in attack especially and Lincoln thankfully have exploited that this is Brown Tierney back to Brown Armstrong this is Forrest can't keep it in on this left hand side and uh, throw in to Lincoln he's one to watch out for Jamie Forrest Yep. Yeah. Again, another looping ball. This time, Ambrose uh, does clear it. It was his mistake, really. That, uh, and I certainly wouldn't say he gifted Lincoln the goal, but it was his mistake. He was turned too easily by Lee Cassiaro. Bit of an air shot there, actually, from Lee. No changes to the starting eleven for Lincoln so far. And why would you change it when you're in front? And so far. Apart from that magnificent save we've, we've seen from uh, Navas. He's not been tested too much. Could be now, though. Again, here come Celtic, although just a little bit too much of the ball shown there by Forrest. Oof, well, well, in the end. <laughs> Sushenko wins the free kick. He's just got that know-how. Yeah. Lee Garcia up front. Yeah, he's been a thorn in the side of Absolutely. Celtic, and he's certainly kept the two central defenders well busy. And the reward has been a goal. Brown. Tierney forward on this left flank now, and it's Forrest breaking down. That's a decent ball to the far post. And well taken by Navas, who uh, hasn't really put a hand or a foot wrong here tonight. He's so been far. brilliant yet again. You can always count on another single. He's got that experience from Tenerife and Cordova. That's neat, tidy control there from uh, Liam Walker. <laughs> Couldn't quite keep it down, though. Here's Brown. Ambrose. Don't think they're enjoying this at all, the Celtic players. Celtic fans have shut up shop as well. Well, they're very quiet over on the far side. The whole stadium has gone pretty quiet. I think uh, Lincoln fans, if it goes on much longer, will start to lift the noise level. Uh, 27 minutes remaining. Ambrose. Don't forget uh, Lincoln still need to travel to Scotland, of course, and that will be on a grass pitch in front of probably 50,000 screaming Scots, although <laughs> some of these uh, Lincoln players have been there and done that, of course, already. Oh, absolutely zips off this surface here in the Victoria Stadium. This is Forrest, the uh, substitute. Tierney, the left back. 
Forrest again. And wasn't the best pass from Forrest. And again, chance perhaps for Lincoln to come forward. And Liam Walker really coming into the game now. He's just shown a little bit too much to Brown, although he's turned Brown. And that's not a bad ball into the penalty area. And Celtic are struggling. They are being pushed all the way here by the part-timers in Gibraltar. Liam Walker just growing into the game, showing more and more confidence. He's had a great second half as Absolutely, Walker. Absolutely, yeah. Big welcome if you just switched on. Paul Breen Turner and Robin Shepherd Kapura in the Victoria Stadium for GBC. Throw in here to Lincoln. And it's headed out by Ambrose. It was uh, Armstrong, the substitute, then who hooked it forward. But it's another throw in here to Lincoln. Oh, and they really, I wonder if they've got the instructions to the ball boys. Well, they haven't. It's, uh, it's taken quickly. Okay. And that's a corner. That's a corner. Carl Cassiaro finds the contact on Ambrose. And a Scotland travelling clan opposite us from uh, Glasgow silenced again and surely Lincoln can't find a second here can they just deciding who goes forward and who stays back well, they brought the big man forward and uh, Joseph Cipollina takes up a position on the near post well, that's a glancing header and in the end it's uh, wide of the target it's the right sort of ball in from the corner low flat Patino it was with a header uh, couldn't really keep it down. Celtic still have one more change. And uh, down below us, the Lincoln bench are complaining about um, some of the warming up from the uh, the Celtic bench. They're just trying to rattle them a little bit more. I'll tell you what, if it stays like this, the Brendan Rodgers press conference will be unmissable. Absolutely unmissable because he was supremely confident yesterday. And he said, with the utmost respect, Lincoln have done well to get where they are. I'm surprised they've got this far and we will show them respect. But I don't think for one second he expected to be in this position after... If you'd have said to him yesterday, you're going to be 1-0 down after 66 minutes, he'd have said, on your bike, I'm sure. Yeah, it actually crossed my mind to ask him if he'd take the draw. I thought, no, of course he wouldn't take no, no, the draw. That's he would now. Uh, you <laughs> Here come... Lincoln again, and that was just slightly under hit. Patino never really got hold of it, and uh, this is Dembele. Dembele's had a poor second half. We've hardly seen him. Yeah, he's been quiet. He's just sort of zoned out. Some of that is credit to uh, Roy Cipollino, who's played very well as the Lincoln captain. Forward by Beaton. This is Tierney. That's a dangerous ball in towards Brown, but it's well defended again. And that was Roy Cipollina, the captain, leading by example. Yeah, captain on captain there, and it was the part-timer, <laughs> as you've mentioned a few times before, <laughs> that, uh, that came up trumps there. Brilliant. Well, it would certainly set us up for a quite astonishing tie in Glasgow. If Lincoln can get some sort of a result here tonight, and most people were talking at about five or six, it was a question of how many goals Celtic would uh, win by. Yeah. So far, oh, there's a little bit of afters there, and Calderon needs to be careful. Although it was... I thought Calderon was going to be booked for that challenge early, but it seemed that Kyle Cassiaro received the yellow card. Just not finding a way through here, Celtic. They've been forced back, and that was a poor pass. And Ambrose, in the end, just lets it run for Yanko over on that right-hand touchline. As the light starts to fade here in Gibraltar, you can't see in your picture, but there's a spectacular side of the rock of Gibraltar lit up by the evening sunshine. The floodlights on here now in the Victoria Stadium, which has hosted uh, pop concerts here. I can remember seeing Carlos Santana here <laughs> 30 years ago. And they still have the Gibraltar Music Festival here 
which uh, is a huge success. Last year they had Duran Duran and Madness and Kings of Leon playing here. And tonight we have Celtic, champions of Scotland, not performing perhaps as some thought they might have done, although there is still time. 20 minutes remaining, and it's the Scots on the attack. Forrest has switched flanks on that right-hand side. It's a decent ball in, and that's blasted over harmlessly, and Armstrong perhaps should have done a little bit better there. Yeah, that final product yet again. Right decision to take it on first time. He was being closed down by the ever-present Roy Cipollino, I think it was. Where but does again, this game rate, Robin? You've been to most of them. Where does this rate now? I mean, it's 1-0 to Lincoln. Well, <laughs> Have you ever experienced in commentary anything like this? I mean, you know, I've seen some, some international games that, that, that are up there, but given the, the, the current scoreline and the, you know, the gap, the gulf between the two sides, this, this tops it for me, with, <laughs> without a doubt. Well, we can hardly believe what we're seeing here. Neither can Brendan. Brendan Rodgers out of his uh, dugout, you can see there, on the left side of your screen. And... Oh, and there's a foot up there, and the referee allowed play to go on. They've not pulled out of anything here of Lincoln. And again, that's for Liam Walker to chase, and he won't give up the, uh, the fight here at all, and that's terrific skill. Oh, and he's turned his man as well. Brown, the captain, coming over to help out. And it's Lincoln here pushing. Walker again. He's been the star man, really, of the second half. He's grown in confidence. Oh, and then in the end, that's just... Well, that's well. Bull bulldozing stuff, really, from uh, Lee Cassiaro and a shot from distance. And Joseph Cipollina was entitled to have a crack from there, but I think, again, he was probably seeing the headlines in the uh, Gibraltar Chronicle tomorrow. Yeah. Cipollina seals it with a drive into the top corner. But they were, they were susceptible to a counter-attack there as, as, as the ball was spread across the pitch. So another good decision to take, to take the shot on. You know, we're dealing with superstars here who earn a lot of money every single week. And yet Brendan Rodgers, just uh, out of your screen, was uh, clapping his hands, encouraging new signing Dembele, who's just gone off the boil a little bit in the second half. Although there's plenty of quality here, as we know, for Celtic to turn this completely around within a couple of minutes so let's not get carried away if you're a Lincoln fan still plenty of time for the visitors to show their class I just wondered to what extent the pitch has been a, a reason for their for their below par performance and we did mention it earlier here come Lincoln again it was uh, Calderon who was bursting forward that's another throw in on this near touchline and a substitution about to be made, Robin, by Lincoln. Yeah, George Cabrera on. It was expected, actually. And with Lee down, I think there's only one candidate to come off. He's been brilliant. George, a similar sort of player, 100% all the time. He's had his injury problems, actually, but he's now back fully fit. And uh, Well, it's, it's Lee Cassiara who's coming off, and he's going to get a standing ovation. It's been a magnificent performance by Lee Cassiara. He's worked his socks off. He scored one of the biggest goals in the history of Gibraltar Club football here against Celtic tonight. And the whole the main stand out of your picture up on their feet as well. What a moment. Exhausted. Don't think he could have done much more than he's done tonight. He's a real fox in the box, George Cabrera. He's got plenty of pace as well. Cabrera's gone into exactly the same hole that's uh, been left vacant by Lee Cassiara. Tierney. Again, Celtic losing possession. Uh, slipped there, and I think Cabrera thought he was fouled. This is Brown. Celtic fans hoping for a change here this is Ambrose thought about the shot and he's maybe put a bit too much pace uh, on that in the end Celtic do win the throw in on the far side came off uh, Kyle Cassiara 
What's the referee doing here? I think the stadium announcer has actually just given us the uh, news of the substitution, which was uh, actually... Have we missed something there? No? Was there a substitution when we weren't looking? I don't know. Uh, I think the stadium announcer. So. No, I think it's, And here come Lincoln again. Oh, and that's a strong, strong challenge on Cabrera. It's going to be a free kick. Well, that's frustrating for Lincoln because that tackle stopped a decent ball from being fed through. And I'm surprised the referee hasn't brought out a yellow card for that. There it is again on your screen. He's made a couple of those throughout the game. As uh, Sivjanko. So, here come Lincoln again. And a lot of confidence here. This is Walker. And that was a little untidy, although I think Cabrera had actually made his run a little bit too early. And a foul now yeah. over on that far side. He's done well there, Chifty. And it is again. Two on one. Wow. Be a blow if they concede from this. Well, it's a dangerous position, this. And uh, Griffiths is over there. As is Armstrong. Dembele, who was, uh, had a goal disallowed in the first half for pushing the goalkeeper, and he's right on the edge of the six-yard box, as is Armstrong. Uh, that's uh, an easy clearance in the end, and Cabrera's done well to keep it alive for Lincoln. It came off Armstrong. And another foul, and this, you have to say, is probably in the most dangerous position of the whole of the match for Celtic. Yeah, with Lee Griffith's uh, left foot as well. I assume he'll be over it having won it anyway. Looks like him, yeah. Yeah, they'll hope, they'll have to hope that he's, uh, he carries on his, his rusty form as we've seen in the last 70 minutes or so. Well, scored 40 goals last season, did uh, Lee Griffiths. And this is menacing. This is uh, only a couple of meters outside the area and a foot or so to the right of that D on the edge of the area. And I'm almost certain this will be a strike at goal from Lee Griffiths. Armstrong is hovering there as well, but I don't think anyone's doubting who will take it. Oh, he's hit the crossbar, and what a clearance. Wow. Well, how much time did Beaton want that? It's a brilliant free kick. It's beaten the goalkeeper. But what is Beaton doing here? And is he in an offside position as well? Thumps off the crossbar. Keeper Beaton. But how much time did Beaton need? Here is the corner for Celtic. Getting closer. And that's a dangerous ball in, and it's uh, wide of the target. That's going to be a goal kick. Yeah, I think Celtic would have hoped that it, f it fell to anyone but the defensive midfielder. He needed a touch, and another one, and another one. And uh, eventually it got cleared, thankfully for the home fans. I think it was Ryan Cas Cassiano, who, uh, Cassiano who got the touch to clear it. Is everybody copying the Iceland uh, chant? I hope so. Iceland it's did it in chance. the Euros, and they're certainly doing it here now in the Victoria Stadium. And Cabrera's after this one. Oh, and he's done well just to poke it to his right, where Walker is there. Just tried to do too much, and uh, they've got to be careful here, have Lincoln. That's a good challenge. And that's rather skied by Patino. Oh, and there's a slip, and uh, Walker will be after this one. Come on. What's the referee going to give here? Nothing. Oh, we've got to keep the pressure on here, have uh, Lincoln. 
11 heroes so far. There are 11 minutes to go. And the part-timers of Gibraltar leading against well, one of the uh, biggest teams, the biggest team in Scotland right now. And again, here's a chance, and that's over hit. Don't think they've enjoyed the pitch. And they really just need to slow things down here. There's absolutely no rush at all for Navas. I think it's fair to say it's definitely not the strongest Celtic team we've seen over the years. I mean, long gone are the days of Henrik Larsson, for example. But even so, like you say, it really is a David versus Goliath kind of occasion. Unbelievable. Yeah, we spoke about that uh, earlier. And what would Lincoln be happy with? One supporter said to me, you know what, as long as we don't get embarrassed and if we can maybe hold them to a 3-0 defeat or something like that, that would be like a win for us. But Lincoln are leading by a goal to nil. And there are nine and a half minutes remaining. I don't think anyone will go to bed in Gibraltar tonight if, uh, if it stays like this. And there are some pretty wicked places just around the corner. You've got Ocean Village and that place rocks until the early hours. This is Brown. Well, that's a dangerous ball in. Tight. Griffiths brings it down. There's a real chance here. And in the end, it is half cleared. And just a skied ball for Cabrera to look at. He's pushing and shoving here. It's a real tussle between him and Ambrose. And, well, was that six of one and half a dozen of the other? Yeah, it did look like it. Ambrose really doesn't like the... The hustle and bustle. Ambrose has not enjoyed his evening in Gibraltar so far. Here comes Celtic again, and that's a dangerous ball in, and again, well read by Navas. And down below us, the Celtic manager, Brandon Rogers, out of his dugout. Oh, and what happened there? Rara wanting the free kick. Claims he was pushed by Subjenko. Janko. Touches from uh, Sifty. And again, Celtic build. You can't help but look at the clock. Brown. And on this left side is uh, Tierney. That's a decent ball in and a decent... Oh, what a great save. What a save. Terrific work by Navas. It was a really, really good header. And even Sifty applauds the goalkeeper because that looked like it was sneaking into the bottom left-hand corner. 38 years old. He left like a salmon there. What a save. It's a really good stop the by the keeper. Corner to come here. Celtic knocking on the door for an equaliser. And that uh, is headed goalwards. And again... Navas is there, and I'm sure he'll take as much time as the referee allows him to with this. It was Shevchenko at the far post who uh, headed forward. Calderon with a 1 2. Switch it. A few Switch little it. mistakes being made here by Celtic. Well, referee. Thought about a free kick. This is uh, Calderon. And it might open up here for Walker. Was he fouled on the edge of the penalty area? Well, the game's going to have to stop here because uh, Lincoln have got a player down. And the crowd want the ball put out. Play is going on here, but it really should be put out of play here by Celtic. They're not obliged to. And that's a good save. And I wonder if uh, Lincoln will put the ball out, and they have. Well, Celtic are going to win no fans at all tonight here with that. Calderon, it was uh, Liam Walker who went down. Just a bit of afters, I think. I well, think he got the ball. The ball was taken first, but there certainly were afters, and there's no question the game went on. And to be fair... Lincoln stayed focused and managed to clear their lines, but there will be a stoppage here now. 
Walker. Glad to see he's uh, he's not done any any serious damage. Just pulled Played up. very well, Liam Walker. Absolutely, yeah. In this uh, second period, just out of screen, he he did get up initially and then he's gone back down onto his bum. Well, let's see he's what happens walking. now because Celtic need to return the ball to Lincoln. Will they do so? I should hope so. I mean, just a flashback there to a little bit of afters between. Uh, Walker and Craig Gordon, the Celtic goalkeeper, and uh, a substitution here, Robin, for Lincoln. Yeah, a man you know as well, Anthony Barden, coming on, a real, a real powerhouse in the middle actually. And, and in the and in the previous leg, he was played in a slightly more advanced role. He he did look slightly out of place. He did, it was a decent performance, uh, but I expect him to sit in the middle now and do what he does best. Well, Liam Walker's injured and he can't continue. So Barden comes on. Played really, really well in this second half. And Anthony Barden, I can remember talking to Anthony after the game in Scotland and uh, he was extremely emotional about the European Championships against, uh, he said Lewandowski was the best player that he he played against, it was an honor to play against a player like that, he said. And here he is now in the Champions League with his side leading by a goal to nil against Celtic. Yeah, and it's, it looks like a like-for-like -like swap as well. He's just fitted in on the right-hand side. He'll so be narrow. He, he is a central midfielder. So naturally, he'll be narrow. And here is there Anthony he is. Barden already in possession. The touch was not a good one, though. And I'm just looking at the clock, and the minutes have absolutely flown by. There are only four minutes between Lincoln and the biggest and the most historic vis victory in the history of Gibraltar club football. Now, I don't think anybody, I'm not sure what the odds would have been, but I don't think anybody thought this could have happened. 20 to 1 actually were Lincoln were to win the match. Possession 75% for Celtic. Lincoln deserve this, but I don't know if they'll get it, although I suppose Celtic fans will say, hang on, we've hit the woodwork a couple of times. And there is no doubt that uh, the goalkeeper has denied them. And if both teams uh, will equal in status, I suppose you'd, uh, you'd say a draw might have been a fair result, but with a little bit with the underdog. That's a dangerous ball in from Brown. And uh, this will be Barden now to head forward towards... Cabrera and Cabrera this time stuff. wins the free kick and the crowd are just saying no rush take your time a collective sigh of relief from 11 from the 11 Lincoln men less than three minutes remaining here in the Victoria Stadium is the unthinkable about to happen and our little Lincoln part-time is about to beat the pros and Scottish champions. Barden's after this one. He'll have the legs having just come on and may actually just look to uh, try and win a corner or something. He's kept uh, this is oh, and that's nasty. That's going to be a card for Brown, and that will be the most popular yellow card of the night. There's no doubt that is a yellow card. Well, what is the referee doing there? If that's a foul, that's definitely a yellow card. Absolutely cynical. Seems to have taken it easy on Brown. No, should have been a yellow card. Just watch again. There you go. Great feet by Antonio. So, another chance. Calderon to take this. I'm not convinced they'll try and chip this into the uh, middle. There's two minutes to go. And I wonder if they'll just try and keep possession. Let's see. There it is. Played short. I'm sure it'll go back to Calderon. That's not a great ball, but the move is still alive. And in the end, out. I'm not sure Lincoln did the best thing then. Yeah, I thought they'd take it to the corner there, as you see most most teams doing when they've got just a few minutes left to hang on to a lead. Well, we're starting to look at the touchline to see how much time will be added on here for stoppages. And uh, who would have thought Celtic? And what's happened here? Uh, there's a... A head injury, is it? It looked, like, it looked like a head collision, actually. But it's just, it well, just waiting for the replay. It's all getting a little heated, and Brown is getting involved in this now. He's not been Mr. Popular. Let's have a look again. Whoa. 
It was certainly a heavy challenge on Patino. I don't think it was a foul. Well, we're starting to look down and to wonder how much time will be added on for stoppages. And if you're a Celtic fan, there's your manager, Prendon Rogers, and he will now be looking at the touchline and wondering. Here comes the board now down below us. Um, I don't think there's going to be more than although this stoppage has come in. We may have four minutes. Let's see what comes up on the board. I don't think there'll be anything more than that. It might only be three, four. Four minutes shown on the uh, electronic board down below us. So four minutes between Lincoln and their greatest ever success in their history here in the second qualifying round of the Champions League against a former winner of uh, the competition that's now called the Champions League and previously and arguably more difficult to win the European Cup. 1967, Celtic won it. Now, what's going to happen with the drop ball now? Which way? I think... Well, Brown looks like he wants to get on with this. What's going on? So neither team wanted to give the other the ball. Ambrose, at the minute, Gibraltar are down to uh, 10 and now 11 as Patina makes his way back on. This is Brown. Oh, and that's a poor pass. It's a little bit behind Yanko. Well... <laughs> A minute of the four already gone. I think there's just a little feeling here, Robin, that it's just not quite going to happen. You don't beat Celtic, do you, when you're part-timers, when you're firemen and barmen and waiters? You Surely you don't beat Celtic. Not in the Champions League, you don't. Oh, and that's a strong, strong challenge by there. Brown. Good tackle. Though. Scotland holding their breath or one part of Scotland because Celtic heading for defeat here unless something special comes up in the next two and a half minutes of this stoppage time this is Tierney and the whole of uh, Lincoln back defending that's a dangerous ball in Brown again Yanko Brown Beat on and lost out there, and whew, that was nearly going to be a big, big collision. This is Brown again, and now beat on. And there's a chance here, perhaps opening up for Celtic right at the end, and desperate defending from Lincoln. Oh, and it could go anywhere, and I think it's going to go out for a corner, is it? Well, it's a throw in anyway to uh, Celtic over on the far side, and we have a minute. And 40 seconds remaining. Brown not with the best of control, and then a player down for Lincoln. There's danger here, and that's over that's the top, over. and yes. that's a goal kick. It's a goal kick. And I wonder if uh, Lincoln will try and make a substitution here just to disrupt things a little bit. They need to time it right. They probably... Do they want to make it now before the goal kick? Well, and there's now some belief here in the uh, the Victoria Stadium, reluctant to think they were going to beat Celtic, but now it's looking like a real possibility. Roy Cipollina, Captain Marvellous, said it would be the biggest upset in the history of European club football if we could turn over Celtic tonight. Well, I'll tell you what, they've nearly done it. Patino comes off Patino a midfielder coming off for Kenneth Cipollina a defender presumably six at the back for the last minute and I don't blame the manager with seconds remaining running out of how many Cipollinas have we got on the pitch <laughs> Patino applauds the crowd Cipollina comes on and Celtic fans are looking in disbelief because this will go down in their history as the greatest upset, the biggest shock defeat that club has ever, ever suffered. Ball bouncing high on this uh, AstroTurf here, which Celtic clearly haven't liked. It's hoisted up by Ambrose. The stoppage time is up. So we're just into a, maybe 30 seconds of 
time for that substitution. Is there one final push here from Celtic? It would be mighty cruel on Lincoln, but there is danger here. And is that going to drift out? It's kept in. There's danger at the far post and it's out. Right at the last minute, is the corner is saved. And the ball actually hasn't got, it has finally gone out. Come on, ref. And the referee looks at his watch here. And they look in disarray. Sivjenko wants to take the throw. We've nearly played 95, there are only four added on. Lincoln are nearly there. This goes down as the biggest oh. club victory in Gibraltar's history yeah. of football. There is the final whistle. Yes. Unbelievable scenes here in Gibraltar. Can you believe it? Wow. Celtic, Scottish champions, defeated here by little Lincoln. Unbelievable scenes. Just look at the fans here in this stadium. And the coach allows himself a little smile as well. You can hardly believe what's happened. And there will be some party here tonight. And now Celtic, well, the players haven't really gone over to celebrate. They look in absolute shock. Brendan Rogers down below us, shook his head in disbelief. He was so confident yesterday. And yet, a battling performance, a goal by Lee Cassiaro. A mistake at the back. Let's bring in Gibraltar's head coach, Jeff Wood, with a big smile on his face. Because he called it at half-time, he said, these boys can go on and win this game. Absolutely fantastic, Paul. They did exactly what we thought they would do. They worked, they kept their shape, they kept their discipline. And like we said at half-time, they had that something special in Lee Cassiaro to put the ball in the back of the net. Great skill. The defender already on a yellow card. Ambrose seemed to be a little bit cautious. Let's not take anything away, though, from Lee, because he took it beautifully well, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, it's typical Lee. And like, you say, like we said at half-time, he's run his socks off right the way through and obviously he's had to come off at the end but great team effort from Lincoln a fantastic result what does this say about Celtic does it say they're not yet really peaking you said it at half time that fitness level I mean he looks shattered Brendan yeah. Rodgers just looking at him here going down the tunnel yeah. I, I don't know what his press conference is going to be like because he was supremely confident yesterday and he's going to have to go and eat humble pie now yeah, like I said, I think they're in the preparation stage, you know, it's uh, difficult for them, it's a new manager, it's Let's new Let's look at the goal players. here, Jeff, here yeah. it is, look, you probably haven't seen the replay, no. Ambrose turned too easily for me yeah. at this level, at his level. Yeah, I think you're right, but again, Lee, Lee never gives up on anything, and like I said, he's got that something special about him, um, where he just makes a goal out of nothing. What does this mean, away from football? Population 30,000 in Gibraltar. What, what does it mean to the Rock? I think it's fantastic, Paul. You know, as I said, they've, they've been in UEFA now three years, and to have got to the second round two years on the spin, and then pull this tonight, this result out of the bat, I think it's fantastic. Team spirit. Look at this on the pitch. Yeah. I mean, they're celebrating as if they won. Yeah. The Champions League, and in a way, this was their final tonight, wasn't it? Well, it was, but, I, you know, they've got to go to Glasgow next week and uh, I wouldn't write them off. It's a bigger pitch, bigger grass pitch, pitch. Yeah. fitness level will be different again for Celtic. They'll put in a very hard week. Realistically, it's going to be still a mountain to climb to go over there and get a result, isn't it? Oh, oh it will be, but like I said, I wouldn't put anything past these boys. I've worked with a lot of them with the national side and I know their commitment, I know their passion, and I know that they've got the ability to do it. So, Were you disappointed in Celtic? Um, like I said, it's really it is pre-season for them and they are in a rebuild and they've got a new manager, a quality manager. They've got some quality players, but obviously they've come, they're playing on this surface and uh, it's difficult. Are you surprised? I mean, it's the second qualifying round. You can see the players on the bottom right-hand side of your screen still celebrating. The crowd out of the picture is still joining in. Are you surprised that a Champions League qualifying game is actually allowed to be played on a surface like this? Well, I, th I think you've got... Very, you've got places like Iceland and Finland where I've spent a lot of time, Sweden, etc. And I think because of the climate, 
it's almost a necessity because to, to maintain a grass pitch here, a quality grass pitch, is very difficult. So, you know, it is just one of the things that when I was in, in Russia with the Welsh not so long ago and um, they all play on AstroTurf. I think we're going to get a, an interview pitch side. Uh, let's listen in. Who's this, uh, Robin? Uh, just trying to see from where we are. There's a big crowd of people here. I, I think we can get... Okay. It, it's, it's the goal scorer. Uh, Lee, you've scored the winner hey, let's for listen your in. team against Celtic tonight. Talk us through your emotions. Um, over the moon, um, we gave a hundred percent, and that's what the, we achieved the whole match. Um, we knew we were going to get chances; they were going to press us. So, any balls over the top, um, I could I run the defenders, and that's how. I, lucky enough, I got that chance and I scored. Run us through the goal because you still had an awful lot to do when the ball came up to you. Uh, I knew I, I, I overran the guys, so I knew they were going to. Uh, Overlap me and just passed it over the top of the one of the defenders and just slowly home past the keeper. I think we can hear from the fans around us, from your teammates, just what this means. Where does it rank for you though? Because you've also scored against Scotland for your country, Gibraltar. Yeah, this is a top. Uh, this is my well, probably the biggest achievement um, here in Gibraltar. Be winning a, a European champion like Celtic is at home. It's something that um, is probably go with me for the rest of my life. Were you surprised by the chances you got against Celtic tonight? Um, I knew they were going to attack us and press us up front, and I knew that um, I played with uh, one of the defenders. I knew I could outrun them, so I took my chance and I scored. That's, that's good for the team and for everybody. And of course, it's only half time. How are you feeling about the return leg at Celtic Park? Can you see out the result? Um, we'll see. I think go with, um, Celtic Park is going to be another completely different game. The weather, the grass pitch, but we've got to go give us all. Congratulations, enjoy the moment. Thank you very much. Yeah, Lee, Lee Cassiaro um, gets a little kiss for his troubles uh, as well. Jeff Wood, Gibraltar head coach, you know him well. Um, pretty humble, really, talking about it and keeping his feet on the ground ahead of the, the match in Scotland. Yeah, he, Lee's a great character. You know, he, he loves football. He plays football like he's a nine-year-old still with it, all the enthusiasm. He works really hard. And let's see, he's, he's actually got that quality to, to win a game for you. So the celebrations continue here in the Victoria Stadium. Man of the match for, man of the match for you, Jeff. It'd be difficult tonight, to be fair, because I thought they all played their part. I thought they were very strong at the back. Uh, we uh, said in commentary, Lee Walker, outstanding second half. Yeah, Lee's a quality player. He's played in the UK. He's played at Portsmouth. Um, um, we know what Lee brings to the game. And what we said at half-time about we, Lincoln have got those special players to actually turn the game for just you. Just a little look back at some of the highlights here in the uh, match this evening. If you have just joined us on GBC, victory. An astonishing win here uh, for Lincoln. Historic win against Celtic. The Scottish champions. That was Ambrose getting his yellow card, and I think when he got that, Jeff Wood, Gibraltar team coach, head team coach, that changed his game. I'm surprised actually that uh, perhaps Brendan Rodgers didn't think of a substitution because Ambrose was struggling a little bit at times. Yeah, Lee, Lee's pace and Lee's work ethic will always cause people problems, no matter who you play against. You know, even when we played the qualifiers, um, he does cause teams problems. Better opportunities in the second half. We're still looking at the. Uh, highlights from the first half there was a disallowed goal uh, by and let's just talk a little bit about the new signing and what can Celtic fans expect from Dembele because he, he I thought he had a good first half but he really faded in the second period yeah obviously it's, like, it's a new so he's a new sign it's a new manager it's a new system everything's new to the club and, and they are in the preparation stage at the moment but Lincoln did what they had to do tonight absolutely fantastically and these are some of the highlights if you have just joined us and uh, Lincoln certainly did create a few opportunities uh, in the second half in the first half and uh, then in the second period Celtic did hit the wood woodwork a couple of times I suppose if you're going to win a game like this like Lincoln have you've got to ride your luck a little bit as well yeah and I think Navas in goal made an absolutely fantastic stop when he's tipped the ball onto the bar um, absolutely brilliant so like I said they, they've all played their part tonight it really has been a, a big team effort what have you taken as, as the head coach for the Gibraltar national side? What have you taken from the game? Well, th th those guys have said that, that play for the national side. I know what they can produce. I know their work ethic. I know the commitment. I know that they, they will never give up on anything. And they do have that quality, Paul. You know, and we've got to, to harness that for the next qualifier in September. Let's take a look at the second half, Jeff, because uh, you, you saw it real time down in the stand. We had the opportunity. This was, again, a shot 
coming in on the turn. Um, 40 goals last season, Lee Griffiths. He thumped a crossbar. Uh, he thumped the crossbar once with a free kick. Yeah. Uh, Dembele did in the end fade a little bit, didn't he? Yeah. And again, you don't know what they've done pre-season. He's obviously signed late, and um, what he's actually, where what his preparation stage is. This is the goal. There's the turn on Ambrose, and the celebrations. But Ambrose really clutching at air there completely. The chip in uh, was uh, from Walker. But then just look at that. Yeah. You've got to put a defender at this level for Saudi. It's got to do better than that, isn't it? Well, you think so, but it's it's like the, the Robson Carnu goal for Wales when he's pulled out that that little Cruyff turn and sent three defenders the wrong way, you know. Yeah. And you're talking about international class defenders. So I think all credit to Lee for what he's done there. There was an opportunity here as well. It's Calder on this looked like it was going into the top corner, just raised a, a little bit. We're going to get an interview in just a few seconds, I'm told, with uh, Brendan Rogers. Uh, the coach for Celtic. I'm not sure we're going to be able to bring that to you or not. I've just been told that we will be hearing from the Celtic manager uh, in just a few seconds. I'm told now there is not an interview with uh, with Brendan Rodgers. I mean, I mean, he must be. He's, that's his first competitive game. If you were in his shoes right now, you'd be feeling embarrassed, wouldn't you? Well, you would be. You'd be. You know, I'm sure he's disappointed sitting in there, and I'm sure the players are disappointed as well. Um, but again, it is the preparation stage. What do Lincoln do ahead of the game in Scotland? I think that with these guys, Paul, that they, they will just produce the same sort of performance next week. They'll give 110% again. They'll, they'll work from start to finish. They'll be very focused and disciplined. And, and they've got something now to hang on to as well. OK, well, that's just about it uh, from us here at the Victoria Stadium. A, a historic night. Uh, Roy... Chipoluna did say uh, in the local press that um, it would be the biggest shock in European football at club level if they were to beat Celtic, and they have beaten Celtic. They have beaten Celtic. And Is it the biggest shock in the history of, of European football? I would, I would probably say so. I had one big shock myself, Paul. We went through Liverpool, who were the uh, current European Cup holders at that time. Yeah. And, and we beat them 1-0 in Helsinki. Okay. when Dalglish and Rush were playing and everything and that was one of those but but I think for Gibraltar the size of Gibraltar the players that they've actually produced this is the biggest moment in Europe Jeff always a pleasure Jeff Wood Thank you, Paul. Gibraltar team, team coach uh, let's quickly bring in Robin Shepherd Capuro who I have to say was uh, jumping around here in the commentary box you're a proud Gibraltarian and uh, got a little bit emotional as well when Lincoln scored their goal yeah I remember I remember back about about a year ago, actually, at halftime when uh, Gibraltar played against Germany and they'd given an absolutely meteoric 45 minutes. It was a, a similar sort of sensation. Um, just, just, just look at these stats here. 76% possession for Celtic, 12 shots, but Lincoln had eight shots at goal. Well, exactly. It's not, it's, it wasn't a complete sort of backs-to-the-wall job as, as, a lot, as a lot of people would be in, been expecting. So, you know, credit to them. What are you expecting now from Lincoln going forward? Because they've got this now massive game in Scotland. I mean, this was the biggest one in their history. The next big